Hi, I'm Jim Milcrease and I'm lucky enough to be the Mayor of Waipa District. Waipa is a wonderful place to live. We have an outstanding natural environment, world-class facilities and a fantastic community full of people who care about how our district grows and develops in the future. With everything going on, it's no surprise that people want to move here. Did you know, by 2041 our population will increase by about 10,000. And not only are we growing, we are getting older. By 2041, more than a third of us will be older than 65. While growth and change is good, it does mean that as a community we face some big challenges and opportunities. The biggest issue we have is water. Over the next decade alone, we will need to spend more than 200 million on water, wastewater and stormwater. This is to keep up with growth, address some of the issues we already have and to make sure all of our infrastructure so that things like our pipes, treatment plants and storage areas can cope with increased demand. We are also looking at changing the way we collect our rates. You can check out the rates video to learn more about this, but the most important thing to know is it's not about collecting more rates, it's about making sure our rates are affordable especially for those on low or fixed incomes. It's about making the way we charge rates as fair and equitable as possible. While most of our money will be spent on the necessities, there's some neat things in our 10-year plan too. We are looking to spend money on the long-awaited covered pool in Cambridge, on our cycleways and walkways, on Waipuki Park, and possibly on a district-wide museum based in Te Aumutu. It costs a lot of money to run a council and a district. Over the next 10 years we will be spending nearly a billion dollars to get everything done. This isn't all funded by rates though. Rates only makes up around 60 to 70% of the money we need. Other ways we get money we need is through selling assets, development contributions, subsidies and grants and through charging for some of our services like dog registrations and building and resource consents. Over the next 10 years, we are looking at an average rate increase of 2.3%. We think this is affordable. I should add here though that this fact is in the move to water meters to a charge that is separate from your rate bill. So those households that use a lot of water will pay more than those households that use a little. The potential to save is in your hands. Unfortunately, we can't quite afford to do everything we would like to do. At this stage, we haven't budgeted for things like sealing the last of our unsealed roads, our town upgrade programs and the Cambridge Pedestrian Bridge. Our challenge is to balance the necessities for the district against the things some people would say are nice to haves, but it is the nice to haves that make White Pass such an attractive place to live and invest in. Have we got the balance right? Are we spending money where we should be? Have a look around futurewipar.co.nz and you will find out everything you need to know. We would love to hear from you.